Are you hoping to ask your crush out, but maybe you want to get them to like you a bit first? But how? Well, here are five tips to melt your crush's heart. Number one, talk about both your passions and theirs. People love to talk about what they're passionate about. Instantly, they light up the room with energy about what they love. Wouldn't you want to discuss the passions that take up your mind? What do they think about doing? What is their passion project? Having an engaging conversation with someone about what they love is a great way to start off a date or hang out. Talk about yours to put you in a good mood and listen and let them discuss their passions so their mood is brightened as well. Number two, work on building confidence. Confidence can be a great way to attract someone. Many people admire confidence. We all wanna be confident and comfortable with who we are and what we do. So dig deep inside you and bring out as much confidence as you can when you talk to your crush. It may take some time to build up your confidence. One way could be to start talking with your crush more and getting comfortable around the little things that make you uncomfortable. Or rather, focus on taking care of yourself and brightening up your spirits by being your best self and doing the things you aspire to do. It may just build your confidence. Number three, have good eye contact. One way to melt your crush's heart? Stare deep into their dreamy eyes on a date. Well, not in the weird way. Just keep up a good amount of eye contact and don't be afraid to look into their eyes during the silent moments too, if it feels right. They may just take it as a hint that you like them, especially if you reveal a blush and a smile. An article from Your Tango and the New York Times points to research that has found that prolonged eye contact between two people can improve the odds that those two people will fall in love. Arthur Aaron, the social psychologist behind the research said that the two biggest factors to falling in love through eye contact are the other person is reasonably appropriate and desirable, and there is also reason to think they might be genuinely interested in you. So good eye contact is a good idea with your crush, but it could be a better idea to increase the eye contact after a date or two. Once you've gotten to know each other better, and you know you both like each other, it may make them like you even more. Number four, don't shy away from making the first move. Remember how confidence is often seen as admirable? Well, making the first move can often take a bit of confidence. So your crush may just admire you if you make the first move. And it may just melt their heart to see someone so confidently asking them out as well. You don't wanna be cocky, but confident and respectful. Also, it's like ripping a Band-Aid off. You'll finally have a hint to whether they like you or not with a bit of flirting. And if you ask them out, hopefully a date. And number five, casually and subtly touch them. If you're having a flirty or fun conversation with your crush, a subtle and playful touch here and there may make them feel more comfortable around you. As long as you're not complete strangers or if they look extremely uncomfortable around you. If you've been talking to someone for a while, give a playful touch on the arm or a hug when you say goodbye. They may just feel closer to you, more than just physically. So talk about your passions, look in their eyes, touch their hand, and it may just melt their heart. So what tips would you use to get your crush's attention? Will you make the first move and talk to them? Ask them out? Feel free to share with us in the comment section down below. We hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend, loved one, or crush. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. As always, thanks for watching.